How do you gracefully close an exceptionally bad date? So imagine you've just finished this mediocre date. You two went to dinner and you say, I appreciate it tonight, thank you. Here's a hug. But you weren't feeling it. You know you're probably not going to go for a second date. You hug, but you keep your lips far away from each other. Clearly, you're showing this person that you don't want to kiss them, but they still look like they're going to ask for one. Do you wait until they realize you didn't mention wanting to hang out again? Or that you didn't even say when you'll text or call them? It's actually pretty confusing, regardless of if you're the dumpy or the dumper. Everyone's different. Some people won't hug on the first date, while some people's first dates are the whole nine yards. The current landscape of dating is filled with a bunch of landmines and terrors, with the light at the end of the tunnel being a shiny, healthy relationship. Getting there is easy if you're with the right person, but how do you keep yourself from getting tugged through that cave with the wrong person? The person who just took you on this bad date? Well, sometimes people are like puppies. You have to coddle them, but still guide them with a firm grasp on the leash. If it's a good puppy that isn't eating your shoes or homework, give them a lot of praise and affection. But if it's a bad puppy who's not listening to your wants and needs and making fun of your waiter at the restaurant you two went to, you shouldn't hesitate to tell them, no. No. If you had a bad time, say so. But don't accuse your date. Don't fake any interest or insult them or destroy their confidence when you let them down. They might be in a happiness balloon in a big cloud of joy. You need to gently bring them back down to earth instead of sending a merciless lightning bolt to crash them into earth in a big ball of fire. A great phrase to use is, I didn't feel good about tonight. This puts the emphasis on you and how you are feeling, which your date will, hopefully, not take offense at. The more you drag someone along, the more pain you're going to cause when everything hits the fan, for both parties involved. If you don't decide to tell your date then and there, hey, I'd rather not see you again, find another way to tell them directly. Not responding and leaving them hanging in the hope that they might get the message is a very bad idea. Whether you need to text them, call them, or send them a Snapchat, make sure you're telling them, I don't want to keep this up. <laughs> Got any other tips to help people who want to gracefully reject a bad date? Comment below! That's everything from us at Psych2Go. Hope you all have a great day and feel ready to close all your future bad dates.